Please, Fox, stop. You can't stop the adoption. I can't stop the adoption? I'm not gonna stand here while you throw away my son, Whitney. But it's not your son. What are you talking about? What do you mean it's not my son? Of course he's my son. Whitney, what are you talking about? You answer me right now. What do you mean that baby's not mine? <sighs> oh my God, you're here. You're really here. I was afraid that I'd never see your face again. I, I didn't mean to come back, Warren. I really didn't mean to come back, but I, I had no choice. Things got so out of control. Oh, it's a miracle. You're proof that God answers prayers. Oh, what does God have to do with this? Oh, you bitch! <laughs> Please don't make me wait any longer. I mean, is that it? That's it. Wow. Get your hopes up. Don't worry, Louise. I can't wait to get these test results. It's, what's in that envelope is going to prove what I've known all along, that Marty is my son. Fiddlesticks. Wait, Mother? Mother? You're not still going down to see Marty in the child care center, are you? Who? Me? Uh, no. No, 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 see, I'm just practicing my physical therapy. I have to back up for an hour a day, you know, it, it, it keeps my joints from acting up, you know, so I can stay limber and make a fast getaway. Um, I thought DNA tests took two weeks. Those cannot be accurate. I had to cut a few corners, but these results are correct. They prove beyond a shadow of a doubt who Marty's real mother is. I know it. Marty is my son. I would hold the hand of the one who could lead in the places And kiss the lips of the one who could sing so sweet After all this time, you're gonna finally see that I was right. Marty is my son. All right, please, would you just take it slow? All right, we don't know anything of that kind yet, okay? Now, I don't want to see you crushed if it doesn't work out the way you want. Look, don't worry. I've known the truth for a long time. That's just gonna prove it. <laughs> don't let them take me away from you, okay? Don't let them take me to jail, please. No, you don't, Missy. You can't suck up to me now. You wanted to bury me in sweet serenity for years. Well, the Titanic is going down. <laughs> and this lifeboat only seats one. I should have known I could never depend on you. Well, to quote the great Demi Moore, ditto. Before I open this, let me caution you. Use us, Dottie. Just one sec. Look, I'm worried about you. Okay? You can't pin all your hopes on this. Please, don't be ridiculous. I've been waiting for this moment ever since I gave birth in that awful pit and those clowns took my baby away. Yeah, and that would mean Beth is a... She's a, a kidnapper, a, a monster, a lunatic. Why I didn't see before, I will never know. Well, Sharon, I just don't buy that. Please, she had to have been associated with those clowns. In fact, she might even be one of them. She is guilty as sin. Staring at us, the way foxes look at chickens. Kathy, are you all right? I'll manage. Now sit down. <laughs> all your promises, your vows, they meant nothing. Absolutely nothing. You just couldn't stay away, now could you? You had to come back to Harmony to get Martin. Well, guess what, Catherine? You shouldn't have. And you know why? Because Martin and I are back together again. That's right, my husband, the father of our children. He doesn't want you anymore. We are going to start building a life together again, the life that you once destroyed. We are a family, and we will always be a family. 
Alistair told me, Teresa told me. I didn't mean to come back, but I really, I really had no choice. I do wish you both the best. Martin, tell her, tell her that she doesn't have a chance with you. Alar, this isn't the time to get into this. What? What, what do you mean this isn't the time? Less than an hour ago at the Sea Escape, you promised to put the past behind you and move on. We both did, for our sake and for our children's sake. And now she, she's back in town and you're, and you're back in her arms again. No, that's not what happened. I am not stupid and my eyes don't lie to me. I saw you, I saw the both of you. We, we ran into each other. I didn't even know that she was back. I was just saying hello. Right with your arms around her. It wasn't like that, Pilar. Don't you dare condescend to me, Mrs. Crane. You and Alistair deserve one another. I have always known that whatever happened between you was your fault, not my Martins. Your time is over. Let me show you something. Look, just tonight, my husband and I had a beautiful romantic dinner together so that we can create new memories. Look at us. Look what a happy couple we make. Huh? Do you see his arms around me and you're not in this picture? I won't let you spoil our love again. Do you hear me? I want you to get out of harmony and out of our lives. Well, out with it, Whitney. What are you talking about? The baby isn't mine. Look, I, um... Spit it out! Fox, please just don't yell at her, okay? Now you tell him, Whitney. Can't do it, Mom. No, you can do it, Whitney. If you can throw away a baby, you can do anything. And you tell me what you're talking about, the baby isn't mine. Tell Fox, me now. Fox, please, listen. Remember, I mean, we're all... We're all family here. We, we love, we care for you. We'll support you no matter what. We... Why are you Mr. Rogers? Fuck. No, I'm to forget it. Whitney, I want to know what you're talking about. You tell me the baby isn't mine. Of course he's mine. That's my son. I know he's mine. I haven't met him yet, and I love him. He's got to be mine. Whitney, look at me. You and that baby are the best things that ever happened to me. And you know, I used to go through life, and I used to be cynical. I used to be sarcastic about everything. I never let anyone in, and I thought that was the easiest way. And then I met you. You changed everything. Whitney, nothing compares to what we have. What we had. I guess I've been living in a dream. No, a lie. If that baby's not mine. No, Fox, what I meant was, was that the baby isn't yours anymore or mine because we put it up for adoption. No, Whitney. You put it up for adoption. I didn't do anything. How could you do that? How could you do that to me? You know, as someone who comes from a family of supposed monsters, let me ask you a question, Whitney. What kind of monster are you? I'm not a monster, Fox. Well, then what possessed you to come up with such a sick plan, Whitney? Where the hell is the Whitney that I knew before I left Harmony, huh? You look a lot like her, but I don't know you at all. Because the Whitney that I know and love would never do something so terrible, so I want some answers, and you better start talking. I want to know why. And you too, please. If you know the whole story, why don't you tell it to me? Because I think I'm entitled. Fox. This is a nightmare. This is an absolute nightmare. I landed in Harmony an hour ago, Whitney, and I felt like a hero. You send me on a mission to go find Teresa's baby? I did it. I risked my life, but I did it. And I aced it. I did it for you. Because I love you. And it turns out the whole time I'm a fool. Because the moment I leave, you have our child, and you give him up for adoption? And I want to know why! Well, I told you, I don't want to be a single mother. Winnie, that doesn't make any sense. It makes no sense at all. You're not a single mother. You have me. I told you that. You have your family. You have an entire support system. Don't you think I know what single mothers go through? Whitney, we've got plenty of them working at Crane Industries. 
struggling to make ends meet, working overtime just to pay the rent. They're all alone with their children. They don't have any help and it's heartbreaking and it's exhausting and that is not you. Pilar did it, Pilar did it with five children. Single mothers who raise their children properly have my deepest admiration and respect. That is not you, that is not you at all because I have done everything that I know how to do to show you that I love you. We're living together, I asked you to marry me, Whitney. What about all the baby stuff that I had sent, huh? My big surprise, wasn't that proof enough that I was coming home? Wasn't that proof that, that I wanted to give my, my son every opportunity? I bought, I bought the best crib, I bought the best changing table, I bought the best stroller. Yeah, you know what? Yeah, you got on the phone and you bought a bunch of stuff, but that doesn't mean you're still not gonna, you know, get bored and run away. Get bored? I, I don't even know how to get through to you. I spend money on my son and I'm getting that thrown back in my face? My God, Whitney, the boy is a crane. That is the one good thing about being a crane. You can spend whatever the hell you want to spend. Well, money doesn't make up for having an absent father. I, 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 I can't get through to you. I really can't get through to you. I'm not going anywhere, Whitney. Look at me. I'm not going anywhere, okay? Your parents told you they would help you with the baby. My parents told you the same thing. You are not alone in this. You never were. I want you to tell me how you could give away our own flesh and blood. When you talk to me, tell me you owe me that much. You know what's missing? Hmm? Years and years of photos that Martin and me should have had together. Photos of the two of us growing older together, of our children growing up with their father in the picture, smiling behind them. But we don't have any of that. And you know why? Because you stole him. You took him away from me and his children. Come on, just calm down. Don't tell me to calm down, Martin, please. Okay? I came out looking for you and I... Could I find you in her arms? Laura, I did not come back here to take Martin away from you. Okay. Then why are you here? Huh? Explain that to me. You said that you left so that Sheridan and Louise could be happy together. I did. I got on that plane knowing I was never coming back here. And uh, it's a long story, but I got trapped with Gwen and little Jane and Teresa and Fox and Ethan. They risked their life to find us and they rescued us from this island where Alistair was keeping us prisoner. Oh, and uh, Alistair, what, what, that bastard held you prisoner? Yes, and Gwen and Jane. And like I said, Teresa and Fox and Ethan rescued us. And we managed to escape because Ethan chartered a plane and we all just arrived here in Harmony. Too. Wait a minute. So Teresa has our granddaughter back. Yes. Yes, they're at the house. Oh, thank God. And that's what I wanted. I wanted Gwen and Jane to be safe here. I wanted Jane to be reunited with her mother. Oh, how noble of you. Millar, please, come on. We don't know what she's been through. Okay, maybe not. And I am thrilled that Jane is back in Teresa's arms. But that still doesn't explain why you are still here, does it? You should have gotten on a bus to Boston or hell. That's enough. Now she just got here, give her a break. Oh my God. Oh my God, you wanted to stay, don't you? I didn't say that. You didn't have to, Martin. I can see it. You can't keep your eyes off each other. Fine, fine. You stay here with the love of your life. Oh, please don't go. Martin, please. I have pride, okay? And I'm not gonna stay here and watch the two of you. That's asking too much of me. Just too much. This was a mistake. I should have stayed on that island. What, with Alistair, are you mad? She is right, Martin. I have no business being here. I have to go. No, just wait. Ow. Ow. That's all right. No, no. Uh. What the hell happened here? It was Alistair, wasn't it? Did he hurt you? I don't believe it. Marty is our son. That makes Beth a vicious criminal. Yep. 
Sure, and she's been a good friend to us. Or so she seems to be. She helped us plan our wedding. Yeah, and that happened. But that wasn't her fault. Look, besides that, she's been great about sharing custody with Marty. Funny, because I remember her tearing into my house and knocking me out when she demanded to have Marty back. What do you think they're saying? They're talking about how many squad cars to send. God, she never had one kind or sympathetic word for me. Oh, I'm so sorry, sweetie, but Miss Manners didn't cover what to say to a kidnapping murdering loon. Maybe you can read up on it in the prison library. Shut up. Oh, I just don't see Beth as a violent criminal. Think about it, Louise. She has been around every time something bad happens to us, and now somehow she has ended up with our child. Well, I won't have it, okay? I won't spend one more day without Marty. Dottie, I, I'm so sorry to hold you up. I, I know you're doing this as a favor. Thank you. You can go ahead and, and let us all know the test results. Please show all these doubting Thomases what I've known all along, that Marty is my child. What does it say? You know, I have to interpret these results all the time in all sorts of awful situations. For the courts, for families. So before I go on, I hope you all realize that whatever I say is going to hurt someone. One of you two women will be devastated to learn that you are not the mother of a child. Well, it won't hurt Beth to hear the truth because she already knows the truth. I don't know what went on in that head of yours, but I know that you were behind my kidnapping and the theft of my baby. Louise, right, God. Sharon, you don't know that. Yes, I do. I don't know, maybe you just bought my child from those clowns. Either way, if you're upset tonight, it's because you've been caught. It's very clear that you're a criminal. <gasps> a criminal in my family? Louise, look, she's gone around the bend again. Sharon, calm down, okay? I love you, you know that. And whether Marty's our son or not, you know that won't change, But okay? Marty is our son, and these tests are gonna prove it. Am I ever one to say I told you so? 24 hours a day. Oh, good. Because I told you so. I told you, told you, told you, but would you listen to me? No, you always knew best. Well, Missy, you are going down now, and I am not gonna be around when that happens. So write me. You know, from where you're working in prison, hopefully with the laundry room. Traitor. Realist. Mrs. Wallace, where are you going? Don't you want to hear these test results? My mother has to go to the bathroom. Well, can't it wait? Oh, honey, <laughs> when are you going to be my age? When you get the signal that you got to go, you got to go. Because otherwise, go flowing wherever you are. Let me tell you, <laughs> well, it's just hell getting old. I mean, you, you can ask Precious. She'll tell you. <laughs> Mother, what? Precious isn't here anymore, remember? <gasps> Precious left! Oh no, my best friend abandoned me in my hour of need. No, Precious, Precious, where are you? Can you hear me? Come back, Precious, please come back. Oh no, what's an old lady to do? What a world! What a world! I'm gonna go with my mother to the bathroom. She's having a little spell. I'm gonna calm her down. No, okay. you cannot leave. The results are ready. My mother needs me, Sheridan. Something you wouldn't know about. The DNA results can wait. Better keep an eye on those two. <laughs> Senor, que está en el cielo. Could you please bring my husband back to me and to my children? They need their father. And I need my husband. I'm sorry, Father. I'm blunt. But I just... I don't have any more words tonight. You know what's in my heart. 
the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. If Louis saw me lighting that candle again for his father, he would think me a fool. Oh, God, maybe I am. Who's here? Oh, it, it's, it's Bilar, father. I'm right here. What's wrong? Um, could you come sit, please? How is it that... How is it that you always know when my... when my heart is heavy? Aside from the fact that you've come to church in the middle of the night? Your voice, Pilar. Normally when you speak, I hear God's joy. Tonight. Tonight you only hear sorrow. But Father, you would have been so happy for me earlier. <laughs> Martin and I were, were getting close again. We decided to put the past behind us and, um, and come together for the sake of our children and for us. But... Well, then why the tears? I prayed you two could honor the promises of your marriage sacrament, but when I heard that Catherine Crane had left town... Well, that's just it, you see? Because uh, it ended before it got started, Father. Catherine is back in town, and she's with my husband as we speak. What did Alistair do? How did you get this bruise? Whatever happened between me and Alistair is done. It's not worth talking about. I have to go. No, you talk to me. You left without a word. You lied to me and ran off in the middle of the night after all the years we spent together. How could you do it? You broke my heart. Oh, Martin. It was the right thing to do. The only wrong thing I've done is come back here. I shouldn't have done it. I have to go. You have no, to let me not go. Not if that bastard is going to hurt you again. If he does, do I swear. What? Oh. oh, Catherine. What in the hell are you doing here? You said you'd be waiting for me on my island compound. Well, out with it, Whitney. I'm waiting. I want to know how you could give my baby up for adoption. Can you just stop yelling at me, please? I had to do it. All right? I, I, I kind of just had to. No, Whitney, that's not an answer. That doesn't make any sense at all. Could you give the girl some space? For what? Why give her space? You owe me an explanation. I come back here to the one room in this world that makes me feel like life actually makes sense. Guess again. Answer me, Whitney. Tell me. Keep talking. I'm not going to let up until you give me an answer that makes sense. Fox, I had to, okay? Look, I didn't have a choice. You, you don't understand. You don't understand. I had to do it, all right? I just had to. No, I don't understand. Listen to her. It's like, uh, it's like the saddest thing in the world. It's, it's like the end of the world. Well, she's been through a lot. Wait a second. I don't know why I didn't see it before. Oh my God, what a fool I've been. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't know. I, um, I didn't even let you explain. Is she receiving medical attention for this? For? Well, for depression, of course. Think about it. She's been showing us signs for months. All of her anger, your mood swings, Whitney, those, those horrible things that you said about the baby. And then what do I do? I, I leave you? You used to go through childbirth all by yourself? Fox, I, I think you're, you're on the wrong. I don't know much about women's problems or hormones or any of that stuff. I, I just, I kind of assumed that depression was something that set in after the baby was born, you know, like postpartum. 
phone up signals for months now. I'm too stupid to see him. You're not alone here, okay? Fox, listen to me. You don't understand. No, no, I do understand, Whitney, and I need you to understand that, that you're not alone. And I'm back now. Everything's going to be fine. You don't have to be embarrassed. They, they have great medications for this stuff. We're going to get our son back. You're going to get on no, the medication. No, no, no. I don't want my son back. You son of a bitch, no, I'll kill no, you. No, stop it, stop it. No, and no reprisals from you. Swear it, no. Alistair. No more favors for you, Catherine. You came to me and begged me to help you leave the country. And against my better judgment, I, I acceded to your request. She said you held her prisoner. Oh, prisoner. A prison is uh, much more luxurious than anything you could ever provide for her. You swore you would never come back to Harmony so that Louise and Sheridan could be happy together and that Boob standing behind you could reconcile with his wife and children. But you went back on your word. I guess I was right all along. You're nothing but a lying tramp. Perhaps you're overreacting. Catherine Crane has a good soul. She may not wish to come between you and Martin. Perhaps you don't know her very well. I used to respect her so. She was my ideal of a true lady, kind and generous. And then I learned the truth. She's a crane, just like Alistair. What she wants, she takes. She stole my husband, and if she wants him back, I have no chance with him, Father. She'll, she'll seduce him. She will use her charms and play the wounded, long-suffering heroine. Now, how can I compete with that? And Martin will feel sorry for her, and he'll just run back to her bed. You must not give in to despair. It is the most insidious of sins. Will you pray with me? Yes, Father. Lord, hear our prayer. Please give Martin Fitzgerald the strength to remain faithful to his marriage vows. Help him to rekindle once felt for this woman and let him rebuild the family that has been broken for far too many years. Amen. Amen. Those were beautiful words, Father. Thank you. I feel a little better already. The Lord listens, Pilar. Yes. He answers all prayers in his fashion. Go in peace. Gracias, Padre. And pray that I regain hope. This escape route on my own. You go find your own. No. No. You can't just. You can't just leave me here to face the music by myself. Oh. Oh. Start singing, Missy. You're the one who wanted me, Gomer. You got your wish. Hey, 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 hey. I'll drop you a line in the slammer, you know, from Vegas. No. Get out of my way. I'm escaping too. I'll no. figure out a way to snatch Marty back later. No. The DNA testing process is quite difficult. First, I tested Beth's DNA against Marty's. And of course, and... it was totally different. Well, that's too easy an answer. Oh, sir. What, what's going on? It's it's new security measures. It's coming from the lady we got. Oh, my God. That's where Beth is. But please, Daddy, would you wait here for just one second? Absolutely. Thank you. You can't just leave me here, you old souse. Ah! <laughs> Beth, what the hell is going on? Would you get her out of there before she hurts herself? I knew it. They're trying to escape. Oh, oh. no, Louise, she's she's just having another one of her spells. Let me go! Can't you hear it? It's an air raid siren. They want us to black out all the windows and then hit the deck! 
<laughs> Mother, the war's been over since 1945. Oh, no, we're in London, you dumb bunny. It's the blitz. Ma'am, we're going to need you to come out of the window. Uh, Just pull, pull her harder. If you have to break her hip, it's OK. Uh, oh, help, help, an assassin. <laughs> oh, 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 C careful, you're in the danger zone. <laughs> Commission, the Jerry's are gassing us. Ben, are you all right? Oh, just pity, Lieutenant. Oh, what do you say? We all go on down to the USO canteen, and I'll teach you boys how to do the linden, huh? Can't you turn that thing off? <laughs> There. Oh, thank you, angels. <laughs> oh. Okay, well, uh, George. Oh my gosh, mother, I was so worried about you. Not, that is not working. Oh. Well, just wait and watch. Hey, who is that new pilot? So, where are you based, huh, fly boy? Hmm? Hmm? Please. I'm sorry, she just gets confused. Yeah, why don't we get her out of here? Yeah, let's uh, get back to Dottie and find out who Marty's real mother is. Another bomb's a-coming! <laughs> Catherine, exactly how did you get back here? It's a long story. Oh, I'm always up for a good bedtime story. Well, I hope it keeps you up all night. Let's put it this way. My escaping from your compound means only one thing. You took your eye off the ball. Your security is lax, Alistair. Oh, Catherine, yes. I know who did this, who instigated it. Little Teresa. You know, these Lopez Fitzgerald people are always trying to give me grief. Don't you dare blame my daughter. Gwen stole her baby. Any mother would have done whatever she had to do to rescue her. Yes, I know. Except <laughs> present company. You have both deserted your children. Martin, stop it, please. Enough violence. Yes, there are much more subtle ways of exacting vengeance, Martin. You listen to me, old man. You leave me and mine alone, and I'm warning you. Don't you dare go after Catherine again. Oh, what are you going to do? Come after me? Gosh, I'm all a quiver. Let's try something new. I'll take care of my wife, you take care of yours. Oh, and Catherine, is the lovely Pilar glad that you're back in town after her touchy rapprochement with her husband? And what about you, Martin? A tad guilty, are we? That's why I will always vanquish you. Guilt is simply not part of my makeup. So, safe home. Uppers. Oh, Martin. He must still have feelings for me. He must. We were so close. At the seascape. When we danced, all the years just fell away. So they played that song, and he remembered her. Oh, why has Catherine come back to ruin my life again? She won't break up my family again. I won't allow it. Hello? Who's there? Darling, you don't know what you're saying. Of course you want your baby back. No, Fox, you are not listening to me. No, I am listening to you. It's okay. I'm, I'm going to go to the adoption agency. I'm going to make everything better. I'm going to tell them that there's been a misunderstanding. We made a mistake and that we've changed our minds. No. No, I haven't changed my mind. Whitney, you are confused, okay? No, listen to me. Leave it alone. It's over. Just no, it's not me. over. This is my son we're talking about. Not anymore. He's someone else's now. It's... Look, it's too late. You are never going to see him, Fox. How can you 
you stand here and listen to this? She's completely lost Son, it. Son, please. No, you're not thinking straight. Whitney, I hope you snap out of this. Really, I do, but I cannot deal with you right now. I gotta go stop an adoption. I'm gonna get my son back. Wait, no. No, Fox, come back. You can't have him. <sighs> Don't go after Alistair. He's still capable of wrecking our lives and our children's lives, Martin. Well, how can I just stand by and watch him abuse you or anyone else? Gotta leave him alone. I mean, God knows what he'll do now. I defied him, I escaped, I just taunted him. Don't worry, we'll handle him. No, Martin, please. I know him better than anyone. Underneath that glib exterior, he's furious. I saw his eyes. He's mad enough to kill. No, Private, you gotta get me out of these barracks right now. Because President Roosevelt needs these secret plans ASAP. I mean, it's national security, vital to the war effort. I mean, what on earth? And who are you? Oh, FDR's latest hotsy totsy, huh? Well, that's okay. The poor man deserves this. I mean, I certainly would not want to run into Eleanor in a dark. Ally. Knock it off, Mrs. Wallace. Roosevelt is dead. Churchill, dead. Stalin, dead. Truman is dead, for that matter. <laughs> hey! Don't you ever, ever speak to my mother like that. She's sad, she's old, she's poor, she's not gonna live that long. You know, it's not like you to forget your manners, Sheridan. You feeling a little overwhelmed? You're right. I'm sorry, I shouldn't have snapped like that. I just can't take this any longer. Come on, Dottie. Give us the test results. Let everyone here know that I am Marty's mother, not Beth. No more retaliation, not from us and not from Teresa. I'm gonna press charges, Sam. And I'm gonna make sure she's punished to the max. I'm getting my son back, okay? And that's final. The DNA tests prove the biological mother of Marty is...